Well, I know what's first and foremost on all of your minds at the end of September is what comes at the beginning of November. November 2nd, Monday, is our first district professional learning day for the 2015-16 school year. What's important for the planning committee of this day is that we work really hard to have a good understanding of what that day looks like and a, a good clear picture of what it is that we want to accomplish that day. What's the goal? The goal is that you leave that day feeling like you've connected as a professional, feeling like you've got a group that has a common interest in terms of what you want to do to address student learning in whatever program or classroom that you're in, and that you have a vision of how you could work together into the future to address those things. We want it to be a productive day. Uh, we want it to be something that you believe that you were able to exercise your professional autonomy and move forward with support from the district. When we talk about collaborative communities, it's mixed in with a whole bunch of language and vernacular that we've heard over the course of the past 10 years. There's PLCs, there's professional learning communities, uh, professional collaborative communities, and, and what does all of that mean? This much I know, all of you have had experience with working in a collaborative community. That just simply means working with colleagues in an area of common interest with clear purpose. And research will tell us certainly that when a group has clear purpose and aren't sort of wondering what it is that they're trying to accomplish, when they see that they have a goal that's focused on what it is they want to do each and every day, which is improve student learning, then you can be productive and that can guide the learning that you do together. One thing that we heard from you from the surveys that we got back was that there was some um, a skepticism perhaps we could say about well how is it that we have to be in a group for three years how is it that uh, we aren't quite sure uh, what we want to do in terms of a long-term vision for our particular group what we've reflected on is let's try to provide some underlying principles of what these are and then talk about structure so we we believe that sound professional learning for uh, teachers is grounded in your professional autonomy. So we want to build a structure where you've got some autonomy and choice. You're the ones with the knowledge and the expertise and the experience in the classroom to know best where it is that you want to address student needs. So what we're asking at a district level is that you use our district priorities as an umbrella for structuring your professional learning. It's a really broad umbrella. The first priority in the district is to address, address student achievement. So student achievement is core classes, non-core core classes, fine arts, CTS, all of those things relate to student achievement. Another one of the district priorities is integration of technology, seamless integration of technology. Certainly, no matter what level you're at, and what courses you're teaching, that might be a possibility. What's the district's role? We're here to support you. Uh, Karen Ranzi will be giving you the structure that uh, you can work within and hopefully will make it really clear and flexible for you. We also want to support you between professional learning days. So if you're in a group that needs more time, we're going to try to provide that throughout the year if you would like. Or if you need us to bring in some expertise from an outside facilitator, we can do that for you as well. The goal, productive day, happy teachers, building your knowledge.